I'm gonna buy all of the chocolate bars. Here we are again with another installment in the Chocolate Bars We Miss series. And if you didn't think we'd be able to find more, you would have surely been wrong, as there are quite a few tasty candy bars out there on the old timeline that we all wish we could have one more taste of. So here's 10 Discontinued Chocolate Bars We Miss, part two. Which brings us to part two. Mint crisp. And do I detect a hint of minty freshness? Who doesn't love a nice sweet treat that has the slight taste of mint? There are probably a few that feel that peppermint should be reserved for toothpaste and sugar-free gum, but many love the taste of mint added to chocolate and, yes, even ice cream. After all, the slight yet powerful taste of mint present in a dessert is actually really good for the digestion. Had a really heavy meal? Well, that's nothing a mint candy or chocolate can't solve. An old remedy. The one Wonderful people over at Cadbury offered the Dairy Milk Mint Crisp for a time, and it was hugely successful. We more than understand that not everyone likes mint-flavored chocolate, but that didn't really affect sales here. It makes us wonder why certain products get discontinued, even when they did well on the market. For some, the taste of mint brings along with it the essence of freshness, and sometimes that essence is all that's needed to take a sweet treat like chocolate from being simply good to being great. In this case, many felt that this was was definitely a fresh idea, and with the nifty, easy to reclose packaging, it was something that could have been enjoyed sensibly a little at a time. We named ourselves before learning we were small. Fuse. There's no other way to fuse. Come on. The word fuse just conjures up images of fused elements or ingredients to achieve ultimate levels of taste explosions. For years, chefs and creators of food products have been fusing one ingredient with the next in hopes of creating something so delicious it could make them build billionaires seemingly overnight. In some cases, the fusing of ingredients worked famously, and although they didn't become billionaires before the sun came up, they did really well regardless. But of course, all that toiling in the kitchen, lab, or assembly line didn't always pay off, as is the case with many creations found on the market. In order to have a payday. Case in point, the fuse bar here. It simply fused nuts, chocolate, and a few other ingredients. But the combination didn't exactly catch on all that much with most. Seems it wasn't given a fair run, as many remember this bar and wish for its return to market shelves. Sometimes a creation needs to be given the time necessary to get enough of an influential buzz, something that the fuse bar didn't manage. Did Cadbury drop the ball with this one? You be the judge. 20 years! Cadbury's Tiffin. Say what? Sometimes what makes an epic chocolate bar is all in the combination of flavors. Much like the Fuse Bar, it's here that the mad scientists responsible for the creation of such treats really either make it or break it, so to speak. Is this gonna be another crazy experiment that crosses a line man was not meant to cross? With Tiffin, the combination was a medley of familiar ingredients often found with chocolate, but rarely found together in one bar. The Tiffin from Cadbury combined both both nuts and the wonder that are raisins. Now, chocolate-covered raisins are indeed a crowd pleaser, but not all who love chocolate adore the combination of chocolate and dried grapes when it's time to get their munch on. And to each their own, of course. Nuts are a tad more successful overall, while raisins are a little more rare. But here, Cadbury decided to throw a party and both nuts and raisins were invited, and the end result was a pretty delicious treat worthy of any and all Praise. Although it saw its end in 2003, many still wish to have this back, and maybe one day it will make its return. But until then, keep dreaming, friends. Maybe this is a dream. Nestle Alpine White. That's because it's Mountain Rules, man. Oh, yes. The Nestle Alpine White Chocolate Bar, a sweet dream you can't resist. This chocolate bar also comes with a few very, very, very good throwback commercials. The Sweet Dreams Edition ran in 1986 and provided viewers with everything they needed. A woman standing on the edge of a cliff and running her hands through her hair, a figure skater, a godlike male figure, and music. Really, this this commercial shows us what we did not know we needed, but now realize that we need. Hey, we were watching that! Not only are we now longing for a Nestle Alpine White Bar, but we are also craving some 80s advertising. If only Mad Men made it all the way into the 80s. Nestle Alpine White, take me away. Take me to this magical dreamland you advertise so enticingly. Yummy. 
Anyone salivating? Is it the white chocolate that is making you drool? Or the actors in the Sweet Dreams Nestle Alpine White ad? This white chocolate chocolate bar also had almonds in it. Extra delicious. Let's all now go out and find the best white chocolate we can and sit back and watch old ads and simply remember this chocolate bar. May it rest in peace and remain a lovely time capsule of the 80s forever. You see, the guys in charge of this stuff lack creativity and are completely out of ideas. Cad Cadbury's Time Out. Cadbury Time Out. Everybody can use a timeout every now and again. Sometimes there's nothing like a good break to recharge the batteries and get ready to face the toil of yet another two or three hours of hard work. Can someone else do it? Kit Kat chocolates already have the market in that department, as they are definitely the candy bar of choice of many while on their break, so to speak. But the Cadbury timeout bar was definitely running along the same lines. The question is, was the market big enough to support two chocolate bars that promote taking a much-needed rest from work? See, the Kit Kat bar markets directly to that demographic, as we all know from their very popular and enchanting jingle. That said, the Time Out didn't exactly do all that well with such a giant already taking space on the market, especially since that product promised an epic break from your day at work. But many do miss it, and yes, they even preferred it to the Kit Kat bar. The two didn't have the same taste or consistency, and all we're getting at here is the similarity in their similar sales angles. But still, sometimes that's enough to throw a consumer off, which is what happened here. Time out, come on, start the bike. Kit Kat senses. I sense something, a presence I've not felt since. And speaking of Kit Kat, the brand has definitely released its fair share of flavors over the long years since its inception, and a lot of them have done pretty well, no matter how odd the flavor pairings may have seemed. The company can definitely brag that it has the most flavor combinations sold worldwide than any other candy bar around, and that's a pretty bold statement, so kudos to them. But a lot of their products haven't done all that well, especially in North America. Now, this particular offering by Kit Kat was interesting and really apt named. Celebrity chef Chuck Hughes once said, the culinary arts are the only art form where the five senses are used. And we'd have to agree with his assessment. Smell, touch, sound, sight, and of course, taste. Walking around like regular people. So we absolutely understand what the good people at Kit Kat were going for with this one. The only problem here is that the chocolate bar known as the Kit Kat Senses was almost a direct copy of an already existing bar that coincidentally already had had a pretty good market value and was doing quite well. Of course, we're speaking of the Kinder Bueno. The recipe is almost exactly the same thing with a few minor changes. So if there are any of you out there that miss the Senses Bar, just go ahead and pick up a Bueno at your local corner store. It's pretty much the same thing after all. I call the process science. Cadbury's Amazing Raisin. Sun Nuggets, Solar Babies, La Uva Loca. California's finest. We've already mentioned that there are some people out there that positively love themselves some chocolate-covered raisins. Glossettes seem to have the market on that little recipe, and for good reason. They've been around for what seems like forever. So yeah, we'd have to say that Glossettes pretty much have the upper hand in sales here. But at one time, Cadbury launched an actual bar that contained raisins throughout. And here, lovers of the combination were able to enjoy the taste they loved in bar form and not as individual raisins covered in milk chocolate. A pretty good idea if you ask us. My genius is... It's almost frightening. But at the same time, it didn't really catch on, and the bar kind of fell off the face of the planet. Our sympathies go out to all of you who love raisins and chocolate, and this one hits home for us too, as we're part of the same camp. Let's say it together loud and proud. Please bring this one back. How many scoops? Two, please. Snaps. <laughs> Snap out of it, Buzz! <laughs> As far as chips are concerned, many around the world seem to be in love with Pringles, as they should be. Pringles are indeed awesome, and they tend to be a bit crispier than your average chip and a little less oily to boot, which all in all is a pretty good thing at the end of the day. Even Lay's stacks are pretty popular, and some even prefer the Lay's stacked chips to the Pringles we all know and love. But why are we talking about chips when this is a video about chocolate bars that are no longer with us? What should I do?
Well, Cadbury Snaps definitely make this list of ours, hence the whole foray into the world of stacked chip brands. This chocolate was actually very similar to those chips, if you remember. If you don't, well, feast your eyes on these. Just don't get too attached, as they don't exist anymore. Sorry. They were thin and actually pretty crispy, very reminiscent of a chip. They even came in a few interesting flavors – caramel, orange, mint, and of course, hazelnut, which is always a winner. Nutella, anyone? These two were pretty popular, but once again, not enough to keep producing them. It's sort of like eating a bag of chips, you know? It's never going to actually make you full. Astros. Cadbury Astros. They're here. These tasty little morsels of chocolatey biscuit goodness were launched in 1997. And while the Spice Girls and the Backstreet Boys were taking up the airwaves and telling the millions to show them the meaning of being lonely and to tell them what they wanted, the world was responding with a loud chorus of Tell me why! Astros! Astros! To say that these were successful would be an understatement, which makes the fact that they've all but disappeared all that much more unbelievable. What's more unbelievable is that they are still available somewhere on this planet and you won't guess where. If you guessed South Africa, you win the prize! A lifetime supply of Astros! Not really. The morsels of chocolate were airy and light, but what they made up for in density, they sure didn't lack in taste. These were some pretty tasty pieces of chocolate, and many would want them back. We got an extra run for the Spice Girls, so why not these? The Spice Girls Conspiracy. Texan. Just let me finish this here Texan bar. Now what could sound hardier than a morsel of food named the Texan? Probably nothing on earth, as when you think of Texan cuisine, you think of ribs, barbecue, Tex-Mex cuisine. All these are hearty meals that'll stick to your ribs any day of the week. So why not name a chocolate bar after the great state? As good a name as any. Actually, it's a great name when we think about it. They were produced by Nestle, and the slogan of, sure is a mighty chew, was really appropriate considering the tasty punch these bars offered. <laughs> they contained nougat, toffee, and of course, chocolate. But just as quickly as they were introduced, they were taken away. And when they were reintroduced back in 2005, they were once again ripped out of the public's hands. How cruel could they be? Kids can be so cruel. We can? Thanks, Mom! Stick around, we've got more great videos to check out. Just tap that screen. And if you're new to our channel, show us some love. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.